Houston and then Oakland the following week. So two wins, Damian, and the Denver Broncos are where I think a lot of people figured they would be after the start that they got off to. Number one seed, home for the playoffs in the AFC. How do they make sure they lock it up? Well, we know what they have in Peyton Manning. There's no question about that. But the teams at this time of the year, you need defense. Defense plays are an integral part of you advancing to that, to that big game, the, the Super Bowl. And too many times that we've seen the Denver Broncos defensively, they've allowed big plays on the back end, critical third downs. They need to tighten up these, these holes on defense in order for them to advance where they want to go to, and that's the Super Bowl. They got, you know, listen, this team's got to be more physical, just like you said, defensively. But listen, on the offensive side of the ball, it all goes back to Peyton Manning and the weapons that he has. And I understand, Welker's not going to be out there, but you still have Demarius Thomas, one of the elite receivers in the league. Eric Decker put a, put a string of great games together at the same time. And they just have so many guys at the running back position that can hurt you. You got to go with the Denver Broncos in this division. Yeah, you know, they, they didn't really run the ball at all against San Diego after some great games running the ball. Yeah. So let's pick this contest right now. Who do you like? I mean, you're always nervous when you face a team that hasn't won in forever, like yeah. the Texans, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm picking I'm picking the Denver Broncos. Peyton Manning, you know, he's just playing at, he's playing at an all-time level right now. Too many weapons. Broncos. No doubt about it. I'm going with the Broncos also. But, you know, the, 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 that saying holds it's true that in the month of December, you have to play physical football. They have to have that identity going into the playoffs. Broncos can secure the number one seed with a win plus a Kansas City loss and a New England defeat or tie at Baltimore. Colts Chiefs in a preview of what could be a potential wild card playoff showdown. Both teams are already in the postseason. The Colts are the only team that has actually clinched a division title. Kansas City, Kansas City still has a shot at not only the AFC West title, but also the number one overall seed in the AFC if Denver loses. So with that in mind, Darren, what is the key for the Chiefs' offense in this contest? Well, they're an excellent screen team. We saw what they did last week against the Raiders. didn't Oakland figure Raiders. that out. Couldn't figure No one's <laughs> actually figured it out. But you watch Jamal Charles in space. They do a great job of getting the blocking in front of him. Andy Reid does a great job of calling the play at the right time. But when you watch the film of these guys, you'll see what they do. Here you go with the screen play here. They set it up extremely well. You have to have salesmen out there at the same time. You got guys like uh, Allen out, Jeff Allen out there, Jeff Schwartz out there trying to block. And watch Jamal Charles hit the edge. Sees that there's a wall up in front of him. Watch him at the edge, and that's, this is world-class speed. When you get to, when Jamal Charles gets on the edge, no one's going to catch him. But watch out on this one. The same screenplay, the vertical routes, how the wide receivers sell it, going all the way down the field, clearing space out, and it's just empty, empty real estate right now for Jamal Charles. And when he gets in the open field, anything can happen. You know, just blocks are downfield. The linemen are still running. I don't know, Damon, did you ever run down the field on the screen? Oh, I, I've been known to get down the field. You could get down the field I can on get the down the field. I was a pretty good athlete. You know, I just keep looking at that play, and the thing that I'm going back to, it's third and 19. Team. You know that. There's not that many plays in the playbook for third and 19. and 19. All right, so let's pick the game. Who do you like? I like the Chiefs. It, you know, the, the one thing that we've seen from the Chiefs the past few weeks, their scoring has gone up. They're taking, they're being more aggressive in yep. the passing game. Alex Smith is doing a really good job. Completing passes down the field, that's going to help them moving forward. Yeah, and I, I agree with you. And when you see India and what India has done in the last few, you know, last half of the season, they've been in Jekyll and Hyde, slow starts. You cannot get off to a slow start against the Kansas City Chiefs. They will blow you out at the end of the game. By the way, since November 10th, Indy has alternated wins and losses every week. They won last week. Vikings, Bengals, who do you like in this one? I like the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton. We Red know. Rifle rises Ooh, again. That's, that's right. You know, they haven't, they haven't lost at home. He, he tends to play extremely well at home with those weapons. I like the Cincinnati Bengals. I like them also. And the reason why they're winning at home is because their defense plays extremely well. Mike Zimmer has done a great job of getting these guys to play at a high level. They get pressure on you. They'll bring extra pressure, and they rely on their corners to play man-to-man. -man. And they've done it without Geno Atkins, arguably the best player on that defense. And that leads us to bold predictions for Week 16. Damien, we start with you. Where are you going? I'm going with the, the Patriots Baltimore Ravens game, and I'm going Tom Brady with 300 plus yards and three touchdowns. Whoa! Oh, wow. Reversing the trend. That's that homer. Yes, they, yeah, that's yeah. That homer no, no homer in. here. Homer. Listen, I think this will be the game where they'll, they'll figure it all out. They're going to figure it all out this week. Tom Brady has that, that big game against the Ravens. This is the big one right here now. All right, okay, I'm yeah, ready. Yeah. Drew Brees will not throw a touchdown pass. Against the Carolina Panthers. Against Ooh. the Carolina Panthers. Wow. That's huge. I got to tell you, that's bold. Yeah, that's, that's real bold. Now, look, Carolina Panthers at home are only giving up 12 points a game at home. They are upset about what happened the last time around. 
they'll get after Drew Brees. All right, my bold prediction is this. The record's in the bag this week. Peyton needs four to get to 51. I think he dials up four, maybe five touchdown passes <laughs> and against the Houston Texans. Got the U-Haul game, and he'll get 51 before even week 17 rolls around. When we continue on NFL Live, Seahawks can clinch the NFC home field with a win. How can the Cardinals upset the apple cart, which no one has been able to do against Russell Wilson at home in his career? It's all ahead on NFL Live.